Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Wednesday invited South African entrepreneurs to make investments in Bangladesh that seeks to become a trillion-dollar economy and a fully developed smart nation by 2041. The Prime Minister was speaking at the Bangladesh Trade and Business Summit in South Africa, jointly organized by Bangladesh Securities and Exchange Commission and Bangladesh Investment Development Authority at the Convention Center. She said... The 170 million people of Bangladesh have a dream, and that is to become a trillion-dollar economy and a fully developed smart nation by 2041, she added. Sheikh Hasina assured that investment in Bangladesh is secure due to consistently high returns. She confidently stated that Bangladesh promises a secure and prosperous future for global investors. Why will you invest in our country? Your investment in our nation is secure due to consistently high returns on investment ROI. Moreover, our government ensures business-friendly and stable atmosphere that guarantees your investment's success. We can confidently state that Bangladesh promises a secure and prosperous future for global investors. Currently. Bangladesh has the most open foreign direct investment policies in South Asia. BRICS leaders are weighing rules for admitting new members to the bloc of developing countries at a summit on Wednesday, even as splits over its future direction risk, undermining its ambition to give the global south more clout in the world affairs. Bloc heavyweights China and Russia, whose President Vladimir Putin is attending the meeting virtually, want to reinforce BRICS amid heightened tensions resulting from the Ukraine war and Beijing's growing rivalry with Washington. They are seeking to use the summit in South Africa's commercial capital, Johannesburg, to force the grouping, which also includes Brazil and India, into a counterweight to the West. The question of enlarging BRICS has topped the agenda at the summit and exposed the kinds of divergence of vision that have long plagued the grouping. Russian President Vladimir Putin virtually addressed leaders of the BRICS bloc and thanked them for their efforts to mediate the end of the conflict in Ukraine. BNP Secretary General Mr. Fokul Islam Alamgir has alleged Bangladesh is now running according to Obamalik's constitution. He made the allegation while addressing a discussion organized by Gono Odhikar Purishad at Dhaka Reporters Unity Today. He said the ruling regime amended the constitution for their own ill motive to grab the state power illegally, abolishing the full-time caretaker government. The BNP leader said the government is arresting strong leaders of the party in a bid to spread fear and scrap a one-point movement, but that the fear tactic will not work. This is a targeted plan to bring down the one-point demand movement. এবং এটা যে সামনে নিয়ে এসে 173 দিন হরতাল করেছিল আওয়ামী লীগ এই তত্ত্বাবধায়ক সরকারের জন্য এবং সেদিনও সেই বাসে 11 জন মানুষকে গান পড় দিয়ে পুড়িয়ে মেরে ফেলেছিল মনে হয় না একবার তখন কি এটা জায়েজ ছিল এখন এটা জায়েজ নাই Bangladeshi passengers on stopovers will be able to perform Umrah with transit visa, said Saudi Arabia's Minister of Hajj and Umrah Affairs, Dr. Taufik bin Fawzan Al Rabia, on Wednesday. He disclosed the information while talking to reporters after a meeting with State Minister for Religious Affairs, Faridul Haq Khan, at the Secretariat in the afternoon. The State Minister said Bangladeshis will be allowed to perform Umrah even in transit. Passengers will avail this benefit only if they use Saudi carriers. The transit visa will be valid for four days. The state minister also said that discussions were held on increasing the Hajj quota and reducing the Hajj cost for Bangladeshis. তাহলে ওখানে মনে করুন অন্য জায়গা বেরিয়ে যাচ্ছে ওখানে আপনার মনে করুন সৌদি আরবে ট্রানজিট হয়েছে ওই ট্রানজিটে 
চার দিন ওনার ঢাকার ব্যবস্থার জন্য ওনার রাজি হয়েছে বলছে তো তারা ওখানে যে ভুলা টুমরা করে তারপরে অন্য দেশে চলে যাক এখন বিকাশ হবে পাবেন দেশের প্রথম ডিজিটাল লোন Security dialogue between Bangladesh and the U.S. has started in Dhaka today as part of the broader multi-level talks between two nations. Dhaka and Washington will continue the 10th bilateral defense dialogue till tomorrow. They are expected to discuss cooperation on a myriad of defense topics and the two countries shared in the Pacific vision. The U.S. and Bangladesh share a vision to ensure the Indo-Pacific region is free, open, peaceful and secure. In pursuit of this mutual objectives, the Bangladesh Armed Forces Division and the Indo-Pacific Command are meeting to conduct the bilateral defense dialogue. This dialogue featured senior officers from the U.S. and Bangladeshi militaries. The proposed Cyber Security Act retains the repressive provisions of the Digital Security Act. International human rights organization Amnesty International made this observation after reviewing the draft of the cyber security law. In its 25-page review, the Amnesty International said, after initially reviewing the draft of the law, the agency felt that it retained the repressive provisions of the DSA, which have persistently been used to threaten and restrict the right to freedom of expression in Bangladesh. Referring to Article 6 of the Cyber Security Act, the agency says the graft law retains all but one of the offences contained in the DSA verbatim. The only changes the CSA makes are related to sentencing. A Rohingya teenager was shot dead by miscreants in a refugee camp in Okia, Coxa Bazar last night. The incident took place in A block of Balukali 8 West Rohingya shelter camp of Okia. Citing locals, the police said some children and teenagers were chatting on the road in front of the PhD hospital in A block of Balukali 8 West Rohingya shelter camp. Muhammad Yusuf was among them. At one point, a group of miscreants fired on Yusuf and ran away. A chamber judge of the Supreme Court has issued a status quo until 8 January 2024 on a High Court order to launch an investigation into the allegations of laundering at least one billion US dollar by Mohammed Saiful Alam, the owner of A Salam Group. Chamber Judge Inayat Rahim passed the order today after hearing a leave to appeal petition filed by Mohammed Saiful Alam and his wife Rizana Parveen. Kushid Alam, lawyer of the Anti-Corruption Commission, said the chamber judge also sent the petition to the full bench of the Appellate Division, fixing 8 January for the hearing. Now, sports news. Hit streak was at his home in Zimbabwe when he heard news of his demise. As the news spread and tributes poured in across the world, Strick confirmed that he is in good health and recovering from cancer. People should be a bit more careful before spreading such rumours. He is better now and recovering from cancer. রচনা মোহাম্মদ মামুনার রশিদ পরিচালনা শামিম জামান বানাইয়ে বই রয়েছি এখন বিকাশ পাবেন দেশের প্রথম ডিজিটাল লোন